I want you to hear my heart as for those of you who um, thankfully call me your pastor. I want to I want you to hear my heart for a second. I have and I can say this in clear conscience. Like, like Paul, read that whole nine, or Romans 9, 1 through 3. When he's saying, listen, I'm not making this up when I say I would die for those Jews to be saved. I would die and go to hell for them. Like as your pastor, I, I want you to hear my heart when I say this. I have no desire to try and be some mega pastor. Whoever God desires to bring to Redemption Hill, I am, will be more than satisfied and thankful for. But I also want you guys to understand this. For those who are a part of this family, maybe those who are trying to decide whether this is part of your family or not, listen, this is what I want you to hear from me, from my lips to your ears. My greatest prayer as your pastor is to never sugarcoat something, to give you the truth, to not try and make sin look like it's okay, not try to craft a message or a church that is, is pleasing to everyone and everything. Listen, I un unashamedly and unapologetically want to build this church upon God's word to the best of my abilities. I want to be a mouthpiece for God using his words. I have no desire in, in coming up here and reading two verses and then giving you 15 stories that create laughs or tears. I want Redemption Hill to be built upon the Bible and Jesus Christ. Which means this, out of love for you and whoever walks through that door, I want us to hold what the scripture says. Hold white knuckled to what it says. I want us to be a, a real authentic church. I don't want us to, to, to pretend like everything's rosy when it's not. I want us to build friendships in here. I want us to build relationships in here that we can grow stronger, not with just each other, but ultimately with God. While my goal is to not, not be friends with you, I want you to understand this. It's not my desire just to try and be everybody's best friend. I love you too much. What God's called me to do is to help shepherd the flock that he brings here, to help build disciples who will follow Jesus, not just in here, but out there. And we have to do that. We can't just be a Sunday morning and a Wednesday night church. It doesn't work that way. Jesus Christ did not die on a cross for two hours out of the week. And I want to call us to something greater. I want us to have this passion, the same passion that Paul and Barnabas had. Because we live in a dark world. And they need to see the light. And they need to feel the love of Jesus Christ. And the only way they're going to see it and feel it is through us. And so we need, as difficult as it may be, we need to push aside all these little fears. We need to be standing firm, standing bold. I, I end with this. First Corinthians, again, written by Paul. 
chapter 16. Verse 13 and 14 says this, Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong, and let all that you do be done in love. Let's pray.